Yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you my reflow oven, whoever might be interested. It's a standard, uh, you know, toaster oven. I believe it's a Black & Decker, and uh, it's a four-element uh, toaster oven. It runs about uh, 1,200 watts. I've got the controller over here, so these knobs have been disabled completely. I just tore all the wiring off of them, and I'm running them by a PIC chip and an Omron E5C K8 controller that uh, shuts everything down if it goes over temp. Um, and then I've got a serial cable going over to my laptop and that's got a, a mapping program, I mean a plotting program and it will uh, give a real-time plot. Uh, I want to show you uh, the last plot that I just made. Uh, I had a couple of dropouts and those dropouts are because I'm using a cell phone and when I get real close to the oven it kind of drops it for a second. So now it's in uh, airplane mode so now I don't have to worry about that and so um, I'm gonna put a little board in there and let you see how it works this will take about four minutes I hope my resources here don't uh, expend themselves so anyway uh, just to let you know what I'm doing inside there I got I've got two thermal couples they're type K um, and the idea is um, if one of them is not working, the other one will still, you know, shut it down as a safety measure. So the, uh, the longer one, the one that's uh, on top, would be the Omron. And then my PIC would be the one down on the bottom that actually is uh, taking care of the process part. The other one's just kind of a just in, just in case part. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the door. And I'm going to fire the switch. And there's the menu, and the light just turned on, so it's now cooking. And the little blue light came on. I can turn this light on, but it doesn't work too good with the phone uh, video, so I'm going to leave it off. It's easier to see. And then over here, I'm going to start logging. So I'm going to choose the COM port, and it should be start. There you go, it's starting to log. So it's saying 30, 33 degrees. So the seconds are going to be a little off because I started this one a little sooner, but 36 degrees. See the top one is a little bit different. It's 42. That's okay. It, it gets real close to each other up around 220 where the reflow happens. And so what I'm going to do, you can see the, the elements are starting to get a little red back there. And the TCs are directly over the board. All right, so I'm going to turn it off, and right now it's going to heat up to one, uh, 150C. So I'm going to uh, turn it off and then turn it back on right before it gets to 150. 